Joe, 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 Topics. Reaction from people around the world. Feel, 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 feel good. Feel good feel with Joe Arcaya. Joe, Joe Arcaya. Joe Arcaya. Hello, magandang gabi po, magandang umaga, magandang hapon. San man kayo panig ng mundo, ito po ang inyong lingkod, Joe Arcaya, sa Filipino World Channel, Feel Good with Joe Arcaya. Sa mga nakikinig po sa kasalukuyan, sa podcast channels natin, uh, sa Spotify, Amazon Music, uh, Apple Podcast, uh, Overcast at sa lahat ng mga paborito ninyong uh, podcast uh, apps at doon sa mga nanonood ngayon sa ating uh, uh, YouTube channel, Philippine World Channel uh, at sa Facebook Watch, sa IGTV uh, at sa lahat ng mga video channel. Puntahan nyo lang po ang aming website, Filipino World Channel. Uh, itong... Uh, Itong uh, pag-uusapan po natin, mayroon po tayong uh, panauhin. Ngayon, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa edukasyon. Ha? Ang uh, panauhin natin ay si uh, Mr. Professor Mr. Professor uh, Ernie, Ernie Alama, isa pong uh, PhD, uh, President and President and CEO. Uh, si Dr. Ernie Alama po ay uh, isa pong uh, educator ha. Education empowers ang sabi dito eh, sa kanyang uh, sa kanyang uh, backgrounder. He is a uh, doctorate degree. He has a tech de- de- degree in education research at the University of Calgary, a master's degree in management at uh, the Universe the University of Technology uh, Sydney or UT is and Certificate in Economic Development from Simon F- Fraser University. Uh, Dr. Alama also holds Chief Executive Roles with uh, Metric and Metrics Inc. and the College of Researchers for Development Society or CORDS. He is an Assistant Professor at the F- Faculty of Education, St. Mary's University, Calgary of Alberta. Ayan po ang ating panahon na uh, magandang magandang uh, umaga, magandang gabi, magandang uh, hapon po. Prof, kumusta kayo? Magandang hapon dyan, Joe. Uh, <laughs> that was quite an introduction. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, I hope all things are, are great with you guys. Uh, kung sino may nakikinig ngayon, sana uh, yung, uh, everything is okay and great with you. Um, regardless of where you are at at this point in time and uh, in situations you're in. Yes, oh, malawak po yung ating uh, nararating uh, prof uh, worldwide tayo sa mga Filipino communities. That's nice. So, the, curious lang ako ah, itong, uh, ayan po ang ibig sabihin ng GLOBE, no? Uh, Global Bridge Education Placement Services, Inc or globe hindi yung po yung uh, telecommunication diyan sa atin ha? <laughs> uh, can you tell me about this uh uh globe uh prof for sure um so itong globe ay isa itong uh ehensya uh, it's a business agency na na rehistro dito sa Alberta uh Canada so we're a Canadian based company uh, at ang ginagawa po namin ay uh, we're trying to bridge um, domestic, domestic meaning local students, Canadian students or residents here in Canada to school, but as well as bridging uh, international, prospective international students um, in their uh, aspirations to become students to Canada or sa mga sa bansang uh, uh, United Kingdom. Uh, Australia at saka Estados Unidos. So, medyo malawak-lawak din yung ano namin, yung reach namin kung saan namin dadalhin yung mga international students. But uh, because we are in Canada, we've been in Canada for a very long time and just probably like you, Joe, 
and uh, so many other kababayan to the Canada. Uh, we've been here for a little bit of uh, a little, little bit of a, wa- a little while, and um, and um, we know Canada, and we always want to promote Canada to uh, the rest of the world. Na itong bansang ito ay isang bansang uh, isa sa mga tinuturing uh, bansa na uh, has the best quality of education. Uh, in f- in fact, uh, kung titingnan natin sa statistics, malalaman natin dyan na uh, based sa uh, research ng uh, ginawa nung last year, uh, na ipakita dito na yung there are top 10 countries of uh, destinations that offer best quality of education. Nangunguna doon ang United States, uh, followed by United Kingdom. Uh, then Germany and Canada actually ranked fourth last year amongst uh, the countries of destinations, uh, favorite destination of international students. Uh, and Canada also ranked actually in 2019 and 2020 uh, in the third rank among all other countries. So the top 10, just for people to be uh, sa curiosity lang po ninyo, States, United States number one, followed by United Kingdom, and then Germany. Canada, and then number five, yung France, uh, Switzerland, Japan, number seven, Australia, Sweden, and the Netherlands. Uh, unfortunately po, wala po ang Pilipinas dito, but <laughs> sooner, sana yung Philippines nasa top ten din. Uh-huh. <laughs> ang purpose po ng uh, GLOBE, uh, ano po ang purpose nitong uh, education? So basically, ang purpose namin, as I've said, we bridge... Uh, uh, domestic and international students to uh, study here in Canada. So, ang purpose talaga namin basically is supporting and providing them those services from uh, admissions. Halimbawa, uh, yung estudyante kung mag ka dito sa Canada, uh, we support your admissions doon sa mga uh, universidad or kolehiyo or institutions na nandito sa Canada. And uh, we make sure then po na yung uh, pagpunta dito di sa Canada ay pinipili yung mga eskwelahan or schools that are actually uh, considered as DLIs or Designated Learning Institutions. Dahil yung Designated Learning Institutions po ay sila yung nakakapagbigay din at nakapapasilitit at tumulong sa mga estudyante na makakakuha ng tinatawag na PGWP or Post Graduation Work, work Permit which I can discuss later on, but it actually means that, you know, that will provide students to work in Canada after they have studied. So going back to your question, it's been a long answer here. Uh, so tumutulong kami sa admission, ang estudyante, sa pa, admission to the school. And then pagkatapos niyan, uh, ang Globe din ay my partner na immigration consultant na siya rin tutulong at mag-represent ng mga estudyante uh, pag-apply ng kanilang study permit upang sila po ay mapapayaga, makakapasok sa Canada bilang estudyante. Uh, so sa madaling salita po itong... Uh... Uh, GLOBE or Global Bridge Education Placement Services Inc. ay siya yung uh, tulay para makapag-aral dito sa Canada and kapag nag-aral na sila dito, ano po yung uh, mangyayari sa kanila? So, uh, bali ganito yung mangyayari niyan so when they, uh, when they pag tinagap na yan sila sa school uh, pa, mga kababayan, pasensya na yung Tagalog ko, medyo baluktot, okay? <laughs> Pag tinanggap... Si Juan, si Prof, eh. <laughs> kung, bis- si kung bisaya pa, okay tayo dyan. <laughs> so... Mag-tinagalog o... Binisaya. Binisaya o English. O English. Yeah, that's right, yes. Uh, so, ang mangyayari niyan, pag... Uh, ang, pag at uh, halimbawa kung natanggap na kayo sa eskwelahan dito at sa tulong namin uh, may ari niyan bibigyan kayo ng letter of acceptance sa eskwelahan pagkatapos yung matanggap yung letter of acceptance sa school ngayon ipo-process naman yung application nyo uh, upang makapag-apply ng study permit at uh, kung ma-approve ng Government of Canada yung application mo sa study permit di makakapunta ka na dito sa Canada Ngayon, uh, pagdating mo dito sa Canada, mag-aaral ka bilang estudyante, the good thing about Canada is this. 
pag ikay itang isang international student, you can actually work in Canada. The government of Canada allows you to work for 20 hours a week, part-time, right? And then during break times, usually, not all the time, but usually during spring break and summer break, you can work full-time. Pwede ka magtrabaho ng full-time. So ngayon, mag- mayroong, mayroong dalawang immediately tinatarget doon na beneficyo sa international student. Number one, they will be trained in, uh, in a standard and, uh, you know, considered as a world-class uh, educational system and institutions in Canada. At pangalawa, at saka yung siyempre yung makukuha nila na diploma or degree dito, <clears throat> At pwede nila yung gagamitin ngayon if they want to advance their career anywhere around the world because they are, they've been trained dito po sa Canada. Ngayon, pangalawa, hindi lang training sa academic. Pangalawa pa, maka- matitrain pa kayo at ma-engage pa kayo doon sa labor market. In other words, makapagtrabaho kayo at maroon kayong opportunity ngayon to immerse into the, uh, you know, yung trabaho workforce dito sa Canada. So ngayon, bit-bit mo ngayon, pag-uwi sa baha, pag-uwi nyo doon sa Pilipinas, kung saan man kayo sa mundo, kung nasa Middle East kayo or sa anywhere in Asia, bit-bit nyo na yung diploma nyo or degree nyo, plus bit-bit mo pa yung experience mo dito sa Canada. Ngayon, in terms sa pag sa promotion, in terms of competitiveness doon sa labor market, doon kung saan bayan ka man or bansa uh, magtatrabaho, you now have an international credentials na pwede mong gagamitin ngayon to, to be at par uh, or to compete uh, with, you know, kung sino man yung kakumpit mo yun sa, tapag, uh, you know, pag sa promotion or sa trabaho mo man kung saan bayan mo yan. So, sa madaling salita po, uh, dahil dun sa uh, immigration uh, dito sa Canada, uh, may tinatawag na student stream uh, kung ikay gusto mag-immigrant dito? Uh, so that is, so Globe is not an immigration consulting company. Okay, I just want to make that one clear. So Globe is an uh, uh, education services company. Okay, however, Globe partners with a uh, licensed immigration consultant dito sa Canada and professionals na siyang tutulong sa mga estudyante namin. Okay. Now, uh, so but then um ang ang tinatawag natin ditong immigration piece doon. Uh, alam ng govern- government of Canada that uh, international students have some of them do have the duality of intent. The duality of intent means yung iba uh, gusto mong umuwi, uh, yung iba at the end of their study and then nagkatrabaho dito, sometimes nagbago yung isip nila, dito na rin sila mistake. So, so mayroon yung alam ng gobyerno yon At saka maraming nangyayari na ganon. Na in fact, based on the research made by uh, Edu Canada, more than 50%, 56% or more uh, of international students who come to Canada uh, decide to stay in Canada. Right, and alam naman ng gobyerno yon that there are international students who would do that, right? But of course, pag pumasok ka dito sa Canada, kailangan din legitimate na, legitimo or legitimate ka na international students. Hindi yung pike na international students. Mama, <laughs> problema tayo dyan. <laughs> oh, Prof, kasi may na-interview akong uh, licensed uh, immigration consultant uh, before. Mm-hmm. And uh, isa sa mga topic namin is yung international student uh, uh, sinasabi kasi nila na napakadali daw na makapunta ng Canada kung uh, through international uh, via international students and ang, ang ang mahirap lang po ay mayroon siyang binabanggit noon na hindi lahat ng kurso ay pwedeng magamit para kung sila ay kung pag-uusapan natin kung gusto nilang ang intention ay mag-immigrate sa Canada. Um, hindi ta ng course pwede magagamit. And I don't know what that means. Uh, kung ano ibig sabihin na uh, context niyan. 
Uh, pero yung uh, import, mayroon din kasing, ano, hindi ako immigration consultant, so I cannot really advise regarding immigration. I can only advise regarding education. education. Okay. But as far as I know, sa pagkakaalam ko lang, uh, basta nabigyan na yung estudyante ng post-graduation work permit, uh, at saka yung trabaho nila din relevant din sa pinag-aaralan nila. Kasi importante naman talaga. Yeah, that's the whole point na binibigyan ng gobyerno ang mga estudyante. Sa pagkaintindi ko lang, and I may be wrong, uh, that, uh, that that's the whole point why the government of Ghana is giving students uh, the opportunity to work in Canada so that their training in Canada will be holistic. Ibig sabihin, hindi lang yung academic training. Kung di nandun din yung training, kahit na i-immerse yung uh, estudyante sa actual uh, workplaces. And then, syempre, dahil uh, pagbalik ng estudyante, magkakaroon din siya ng capacity, knowledge, skills, and competencies na magigay niya doon sa pag-aaral niya plus pagtatrabaho niya dito sa Canada. Ayun, kung gusto niyang maging immigrant, now, that's the business of immigration consultants uh, with international students on how to get to that point. But as far as I'm concerned and as far as I know, there are international students who have decided to stay in Canada and have become successful in their journey uh, in uh, studying in Canada. In fact, I could give you some statistics here uh, based on uh, what we've known that you know there are international students na uh, based based on sa kanilang mga <clears throat> sa pag-apply nila dito sa Canada na na, na, na talagang naka naka settle down na na dito no dahil uh, decision naman nila yung mag mag settle down now whether they approve sila sa government uh, kung maka settle down sila dito hindi well that's an immigration again topic which uh, I think an immigration consultant can very well explain to you on that, or an, an immigration lawyer. Okay, yeah. Um, and but, uh, what are the courses po yung mga in offer ng Globe? Um, but before I answer that question, I'm just going to say, I'm just looking at the statistics right okay. now. So former Canadian study permit holders, uh, you know, from January to October 2021, uh, 98 percent of international graduates who applied for permanent residency in Canada were successful. Ganun kata, kataas ang persyento. <laughs> oh, 98 percent. Uh, ano yan? Source ng data na yun is the Immigration Refugee Citizenship uh, Canada, right? So it's not by statistics, statistics of the government. So makikita natin, nagpapatunay lang din yan na my my opportunity na mangyayari kung if down the road the student will so decide to become one right yeah. however i would also say that there are success stories already of international students who studied in canada went home or went back to the places where they worked mm -hmm. uh who really occupied you know uh um you know leadership or take on leadership roles in the companies that they left when they came to Canada and then went back to the country that they worked, uh, really in very successful uh, condition in terms of career. Oh, ma magandang balita yan. <laughs> mm -hmm. Absolutely. So going back to your question, uh, what was that again you were asking about? Uh, the, the courses, because I'm, I'm viewing here the services na meron sa website. Mm -hmm. uh, nakalagay to consulting and planning admission, immigration, pre-departure, and settlement. So, ito po yung mga services ninyo. Ito yung mga services. Uh, yung immigration, as I've said, we're not an immigration company. So, immigration will be coursed through uh, partner immigration lawyers and consultants who support international students. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, when you talk about the schools, there are several schools that we partner with. So, we, uh, we, we, uh, we partner with a platform in uh, in Canada that has uh, roughly over 200 Canadian partner of Canadian universities and colleges. And when you talk about diplomas, maram, ang daming diploma programs and offer. Yung diploma kasi dito, iba yung, iba yung pag iintindi sa atin pag diploma kasi o oh, nakagraduate ka na sa kuleyo o oh, may diploma ka na. Uh, hindi yun ang ibig sabihin ng diploma. Dito ibig sabihin, dalawang taong pag-aaral makukuha mo diploma. 
isang taong pag-aaral usually makukuha mo certificate, right? Uh, tapos kung apat na taon or tatlong taon na pag-aaral, makakakuha ka ng bak- uh, baccalaureate degree or bachelor's degree. Uh, uh, tapos university degree ta- or kasi may bachelor's degree na in-offer ng ibang mga colleges, right? And then, maka- and then after that, magma-master's degree. And then master's degree, doctorate degree. Yeah. So ako naman, ang experience ko naman, pumunta ako dito sa Canada at tag naaral din, international students. Dito doon ko rin kinuha yung uh, PhD ko sa University of Calgary. So um, um, medyo ano lang, medyo konting, um, konting uh, tawag nito, <laughs> uh, consideration lang pag nag-apply ng postgraduate study dito. Kasi alam mga kababayan, alam natin na uh, Uh, I don't know kung nandyan pa yung grade 12 hanggang ngayon. Balita ko, baka parang ibabalik yata hanggang grade 10. Uh, pero kung uh, ang, ang grade 12 kasi pag nag-international, pag nag-international student ka, kahit hinahanap kasi yung grade 12 mo eh. Uh-huh. eh pag, pagdating dito grade, wala kang grade 12, ini-expect ngayon pag mag-aaral ka dito na mayroon kang at least two years in college na nakakakuha ka ng fundamentals ng mga algebra, biology, etc., right? Or calculus. Okay, kasi depende yan sa course ng kukunin mo. So kung halimbawa, ibabalik yun sa grade 10, kailangan din na pagpunta ng mga estudyante dito, I would imagine na titingnan ngayon ng mga eskulahan dito kung nakapag-second year college pa sila. Right? Yeah, kasi... Sorry, go ahead. Totoo yan, Prof. Ah... K-12 na yung Philippines eh. Ang, ang problema kasi noong pasapanahon na hanggang grade uh, 10 uh, lang yung sistema natin. Pag pumunta dito, kulang ng isang taon yung kahit graduate ka ng college. Kulang cool nga. And then so parang mangyayari na kahit nakagraduate tayo sa atin ng four years bachelor's degree, uh-huh. para mangyari second year college lang tayo dito. Kulang. Cool Kulang nga. So, kaya nga naging grade 12. So, I don't know with the current administration sa Philippines kung ibabalik pa ng grade 10 or i-maintain yung grade 12. Of course, that is a conversation within the Department of Education sa atin. Uh, and then, we will just have to be, give due respect kung ano man yung decision ng taong bayan. But, um, and the, at, at nasa leadership. Uh, but, in you, when you talk about international standards, Grade 12 is really something na hinahanap ng mga eskulahan dito sa Canada, sa United States, sa UK o mga Australia man. Mm-hmm. Right? Okay. So, uh, Prof, kapag uh, halimbawa, ako interesado nasa Pilipinas ako or nasa ibang bansa ako, so paano ako makapag-apply dun sa, sa, ano, sa Globe? So ang um, madali lang mag-apply sa Globe. Um mayroong link, eh, pwede kong ibigay ang link uh, siguro diyan sa inyo at uh ilagay ko sa chat later on at saka punta din kayo sa uh, website namin globalbridge.edu.com. Um then there's also a link that's there. Yeah, But we can definitely provide you with the link so you just have to register yeah. to the I webinar. Will... I will put the link on the description. Uh, mga kabayan, ilalagay ko po yung link sa description sa lahat ng mga video and podcast natin dito. Mm-hmm. So, and then, yeah, pagdating dun sa link, uh, anong gagawin po nila? Uh, pag i-click nyo yung link, pag, after you have clicked the link, uh, it will lead you to a form na if you fill up yung pangalan, fill up yung mga basic information, And then, pag i-click nyo, hit nyo, uh, submit. And then, mabibigyan, magbabalik sa'yo yung uh, mag-reply na, may auto-reply na uh, webinar link. Doon sa webinar link, uh, pag-uusapan natin ang, you know, ang uh, pamamaraan or process na magiging international student. Uh, introduce natin konti what is Canada. And then ipapaalam sa estudyante ano yung mga processes, ano yung mga fees, etc. Et And then pagkatapos niyan, uh, ngayon kung interesado talaga ang isang estudyante, 
um, then uh, makipag-book ng kanyang education advisor or we will book you for a free consultation. Yung free consultation naman, doon na natin pag-uusapan ngayon yung saan ang school ang gusto mong puntahan, ano yung tuition na kaya sa budget mo, uh, may relatives ka ba sa Canada, paano ka suportahan ng mga relatives mo, sinong pwedeng susuporta sa iyo, uh, anong scholarship na ino-offer sa eskwelahan, etc. etc. Ang daming doon na sa consultation. Libre yon po, walang bayad. Okay? Yeah, and then pagkatapos niyan, kung halimbawa na pag-isip-isipan mo na ah, parang okay to ah, pwede pwede ako mag-aral. So ngayon, ah, kung pwede ka nang gusto mo nang mag-aral, magsa-sign ka ng kontrata sa amin, ang service contract and then ah, uh, pa-facilitate na namin yung ano mo, admission mo dito sa school. All you need to do is to pre- prepare the documents, we will do the rest of the services for you para ma-admitted ka sa school. And then, after ng admission ng school? After ng admission ng school, pag natanggap ka na sa school, yung immigration uh, professional na naman namin, yung partner namin, siya naman ang sasalo sa inyo para i-represent ka na naman doon sa IRCC. Mm-hmm. So, hmm. And then, yung... pag natanggap, oo, oh, nandun na yun. At tapos, kumbaga, pagka natanggap ka na, Bibigyan ka na din namin ng free orientation kung ano ang life sa Canada, ano yung mga links, saan ka makakakontak ng mga trabaho, saan ka makakakontak ng settlement mo, etc. Et Pagdating mo naman dito sa Canada dahil we are all over the country, yung mga advisors namin, kung na-timing ka pupunta sa Toronto, ang mga advisors din namin kung sino yung contact mo doon, ay susundo din yun sa airport, if I, if make sure na mapunta ka sa safe na place na kung saan ka pupunta and so on para safety din ang mga estudyante safe din ang mga estudyante pagdating dito sa Canada kasi nasanasan ko yan noon pagdating ko wala akong kakilala ay eh, napaiyak-iyak ka sa airport yung sino yung sinong puntahan ko wala akong in the middle of the night right and then so maganda naman at sa mga airports dito may mga computers makahanap ka lang press mo lang you look for a hotel nearby they will tell you where and then my cab and then so di masyado problema no but uh, definitely it's such a lonely world pagdating mo dito you don't know home to i think most uh, overseas foreign workers naman experience that diba tayo pag pumunta tayo sa ibang bansa at wala tayong kakilala it's such a very daunting experience and um, you know but uh, we manage we're very we're very pliant and resilient people And so, kaya natin yan, Pinoy. Yeah. So, ang kagandahan lang dito sa education na in-offer, so of course, magkakaroon sila ng kakilala na ngayon dun sa kanilang ano, school. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And so, this is also an opportunity for them. Pag nasa eskwilahan ka na dito, halimbawa, ako, nag-aaral ako sa master's degree ko dun sa Australia, hanggang ngayon, yung mga network ko, na, na na ano ko pa rin na na, na ano pa rin na, na friends ko pa rin kumbaga kasi we organize uh, uh, at that time back in the University of Technology of Sydney um, we um, I will actually mod see aside I actually uh, organize a um, uh, an association of international students and so the first officers up until now and the members were still maintain our network so It's a good way to network with people from around the globe. Uh, kasi dito sa Canada, just so you know, there are roughly nearly, roughly nearly uh, 700,000 international students na pumupunta po dito taon-taon. Right? And so then, ibig sabihin yan, uh, um, more or less yung Uh, uh, statistics, it may not be sorted, let me correct myself, not necessarily every year, but all I'm saying is that there's roughly 700,000 uh, international students in Canada. So that means uh, ganun kadami ang makahalubilo mo sa, ano, sa skwilahan. There are really thousands of international students at saka, that really doesn't make you feel like you're alone and you're a stranger because There are people of diverse cultures uh, and maybe people of the same cultures that you have uh, that you can share with or be be a friend to uh, uh, while you're in school. 
Uh, prof, ano yung mga kurso na in demand na nag apply sa inyo? So, mara- maraming mga estudyanteng pumupunta dito. Ang daming gusto yung supply chain uh, logistics. And I think it will make sense na yun din ang maraming pinili dahil sa mundo ngayon, <laughs> alam na natin na lahat e-commerce alos na, di ba? And I think it would make sense for, I think it's a smart move for some of these students to choose uh, supply chain uh, and management, right? Um, isa din karamihan din sa mga estudyante ay pipili ng licensed practical uh, nurse or medical field kasi karamihan din kasi sa atin dyan ang gagaling or yung nasa Middle East na mga Pilipinos ay nasa mga uh, medical field, right? Um, mayroon din kumukuha ng business administration at dahil na rin sa maraming uh, uh, estudyante na nag-iisip na uh, makakakuha ng uh, training regarding an international training on business management and administration na pwede nilang gamitin anywhere they go. Yeah. And um, one of the schools na isa sa mga favorite na punipuntahan sa mga estudyante dito itong, I'm not plugging in sa school na ito, but anyway, ang school na ito itawag na Southern Alberta Institute of Technology. Ang dami naming estudyante pumapasok dyan kumukuha ng business administration. Uh, uh, owing to the fact that itong state naman kasi, kung titingnan mo naman sa international standards, it's been considered na 52nd, nasa 52 ranking tong uh, ano tung skwelahan na ito in terms of their uh, of their standards of uh, you know training on business management and administration so it would make sense why students would, be, would choose uh, SAIT at that right um yung mga iba din kumukuha ng ano early childhood education kasi mayroon din mga teachers na nag-decide na magpursu ng early childhood ng training kasi iba din ang kasi ng training dito so to to give an international flavor uh, to their credentials kumukuha sila ng uh, early childhood development and so on um, yung iba naman ay uh, kumukuha related to engineering and mayroon ding interest growing interest around petroleum engineering alam ko medyo down ngayon ng oil sa you know, industry, medyo dito sa uh, ibang bansa ngayon, but it's also at the same time a growing demand, right? Uh, growing demand dahil, uh, uh, dahil sa bumababa yung supply natin ngayon dahil sa uh, gulo doon sa Ukraine at sa Russia. Uh, so then there's more and more demand for Canadian oil. So may parang bumabalik yung interest toward petroleum engineering and so on. So as I've said, we have over 4,000 diploma programs that students would come. Kaya nga karamihan kumukuha ng diploma programs because they're just here to upgrade their skills. Okay. Uh, they're not here to really do a four-year program kasi naka-bachelor's degree na karamihan sa kanila. Eh. But they're here to upgrade their skills and then after they upgrade their skills, um, they decide to go home. Some decide to stay in Canada. But again, as I've said, it's a, an option down the road and it's a personal decision that students make um, uh, uh, in this part of their journey here in Canada. Oh. Oh. May mga kakilala pa nga akong mga doktor eh. <laughs> Nagpupunta dito. Yes. Uh, nagpo- uh, yan din ang isang ano. I think uh, in my uh, just what I've read through the papers and the news that you know, uh, there's more and, and more uh, uh, initiatives on the side of the government to actually, um, you know, uh, honored, honor and validate the credentials, education uh, credentials of our Kapwa Filipino when they come to Canada. So hopefully one day soon, pag doctor ka sa Pilipinas, doctor ka rin dito sa Canada. Yeah, <laughs> Sana naman, no? Kasi ang dami nga dito, wag kayo madiscourage mga, ka- mga, ka- mga kababayan pag narinig yung some stories dito sa Canada na mayroong mga doctor sa atin, nagtatrabaho sa hospital as assistants, as, uh, you know, mayroong mga doctor na nagdrive ng taxi and so on. Kasi unfortunately, Hindi naman kaagad-agad kung ano yung 
qualifications mo sa atin or yung position mo sa atin ay ganun din ang magiging position mo dito. Yeah. Kaya sinasabihan namin yung mga estudyante, uh, kailangan handa ka na ibaba mo yung pride mo. ha Kasi medyo yung minsan, medyo ma-pride chicken tayo. Yung, <laughs> yung minsan iniisip natin, oh ganito ako doon, manager ako ng ganito, director ako ng ganito, or vice president ng ganito. But Pagdating mo dito sa Canada, everybody like you, Joe, you know it. Yeah, uh, know. Pagdating dito, we, we, we go for survival jobs. Yeah, exactly. uh, kahit ano pa yung posisyon natin doon sa Pilipinas. Kasi we need to survive. This is not our land. We're just trans- we are transplanting ourselves into a place unknown to us. Yeah. Iba yung culture, iba yung weather. You know, of course hindi ka sanay mag-English araw-araw, all of a sudden, you wake up in the morning, you speak English every day. <laughs> so, so, ayun. Uh, so, but then, eventually, marami din mga Pilipinos dito na nakaka-settle down, they are able to, and they're doing very well. And, uh, you know, it's just a matter of settling down, but as a starting point, Baba mo na ang pride, uh, swallow mo na, and then eventually get yourself settled in, and then uh, adjusted, and you're good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, uh, halimbawa, na, uh, mayroon na tayong kurso, uh, nandirito na sila, uh, ready to study. Paano naman po yung tirahan? Oh, so yung tirahan na yan, so what we do, we actually have settlement connectors, which means that yung mga contacts namin na uh, pwede namin may refer sa mga estudyante uh, na kung pwede na i-contact nila upang uh, matulungan silang makapaghanap ng mga, uh, uh, you know, uh, landlords na nagpaparent ng uh, rooms talimbawa or places. Now, kung estudyante talaga ay wala talagang kakilala, we usually also connect with the schools. Yung sa dorms nila na kung mayroon bang bakante para estudyante, tatanungin po, of course, ng estudyante kung kaya ba niya ang dorm um, setting or yung housing doon sa universidad or kolehiyo uh, para at least man lang makasettle down muna for the few ma- uh, next few months Uh, siguro six months and then eventually pag na-climatize na yung estudyante, then eventually nakaka-adjust na, nakaka-more or less alam na yung places, then maghahanap na ng starting ng bahay, ng ganon. So para lang ba ma-facilitate lang yan? Kasi ang hirap talaga pagpunta dito pag wala kang kakilala at wala kang alam kung saan ka titira. Hindi pwede po. Doon kayo, hindi pwede... <laughs> <laughs> hindi pwede, lalo na pag winter, hindi ko pwede matulog sa na. You need to be, uh, you need to be uh, in a uh, well-conditioned uh, uh, ha- housing na uh, may heater. Yeah. So yun lang yung kagandahan. No? Uh, pagdating mo dito, uh, may mag-aalalay sa inyo uh, para sa inyong uh, tit- uh, titirhan. And, mm-hmm. After nun, na uh, nakasettle na ako, uh, I'm ready to go to school, mayroon na akong tirahan. Uh, mm-hmm. Siyempre, mas maganda kung paano yung mga working student, uh, do we have to... Uh, do, do so, have to... yung mga working student and so on, uh, so they continue with their work, but part of our services to doesn't just end there. We actually follow up our students, kumusta yan, kumusta na kayo, do you have issues? Um, and, and and if there are there's a need to advocate for the students, we will also do that. Um, so kaya nga yung ano namin, kaya nga yung services namin, hindi lang po kagaya ng ibang agency po na ano, bibigyan lang kayo ng, um, after kayo makapunta sa Canada, bahala na kayo. Right? Uh, we don't do that because as president and CEO of the company and being an international student before, I know that experience, and um, I I have that voice of experience that I can all I can always see in amongst international students na na tipo di kesho na ano na kayo nandito na kayo pwede na lang pababayan. Not that we will go follow up on them every day. That's not my point. Yeah. But you know, students can always connect with us and say, hey, I have issues with. Uh, this, this, and that in school. Can you help? Can you help me? Can you help advocate for me? 
uh, sa ganitong ganyan ganyan so there were occasions in the past that we really have to do that and uh, intercede for the students kung may mga questions sa tuition and so on and because we also connect with employers by the way so there will be opportunity for students that you know if they are looking for jobs at uh, you know that we can also connect them to possible employers uh, down the road okay uh, program up ito prof mm-hmm. uh, it's actually a continuum of services that we do and um, it's um um, so kaya nga parang naging mission din ito eh. I love po, it's a business. <laughs> business ano, but mind you, if you look at, if you attend our webinar and you got our rates, our rates are really, really very low compared to the current rates that you will see uh, in the Philippines or somewhere else. Uh, our rate is very low at this point in time. Um, we know that uh, we know that not all students have, you know, the, uh, you know, unlimited money. <laughs> Uh, there are students that have the money, but just, you know, enough for the tuition and the living allowance. Yeah. There are students who come here that don't necessarily have the money, but they have relatives here who can help support them or relatives in the Philippines that can support them. You know, uh, so there are situations that vary. And mind you, really, um, Joe, um, we are accompanying sa amin naman ito. Ano sa ang ginagawa namin, we also talk to the entire family. Like, I know coming to Canada is a major decision in life. Yeah. Or going to the United States, UK, or Australia, that's a major decision in life. And of course, it's a finan- there has a finan- there's a financial, uh, you know, financial uh, aspect to it na medyo malaki din, right? Um, so, it's not a joke to make that decision. And so we 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 make sure that yung family then who will whoever will be involved yung mga relatives na magsusuporta and nandoon din sa consultation so <laughs> if even yung aso <laughs> kasi yung aso gustong isama <laughs> so nandoon <laughs> so, uh, but it makes sense and it's okay for us to do that because I think the inter- the family needs to understand. The spouse needs to hear what would happen. Children needs to hear what would happen to their parents if their parents would come here to study, or maybe the parents, or maybe the aunts and the aunties, or the the uncles and whoever or grandparents who would be supporting. We have student. We have a couple of students being supported by their uh, grandparents, right? And so of course the grandparents need to be there. So, <laughs> if you want to invite the whole barangay, sige. <laughs> okay, na rin. <laughs> oh, uh, yung mga an- ano yung uh, mga success stories na meron kayong pwedeng may share, Prof. Uh, so there's basically a uh, success stories now people who came uh, who have uh, completed their program. I have completed their uh, admission process coming to Canada and you definitely uh, we're building that one up at this point in time and hopefully we could post that in our website but definitely we will share it to you as well when that opportunity comes there um, uh, Joe oh, tayo ng, uh, mm-hmm. definitely definitely yeah oh, that's good huh? uh, pwede ba nating banggitin kung uh, uh, confidential ba yung kung magkano yung uh, yung amount, amount yung bayad iba, hindi budget. naman hindi naman yung confidential so yung ano yung uh, single student na pupunta dito usually sa ngayon lang um it will likely increase but sa ngayon um it will cost uh, yung processing ng uh, international students that would include yung uh, representation ng immigration consultant dito uh, uh, abot yan ng mga 2,200 and then the tuition fees uh, of course dagdag mo na rin yung tuition fee uh, usually yung tuition fee dito sa Canada ay on average nasa 15,000 yun bawat taon karamihan naman sa mga eskwilahan ay usually nagihingi ng down payment para ma-reserve yung seat Sa international students, so yung down payment then would roughly cost. It really varies uh, the the 
the cheapest I've seen was eight hundred dollars. The most that I've seen was eighteen <laughs> thousand. So depende kung sa ang iskwilahan, mayroong seven thousand, mayroong six thousand, mayroong two thousand six, may one thousand. So kaya nga pag kung nag consultation na student, titinitin. So anong budget mo sa school? Anong tuition? Kaya because the student has to make that decision. I know, I mean, I've heard several students na pumunta sa eh, uh, mga agencies na ang agencies na mismo ang nag-recommendar sa estudyante ko nung paralan puntahan. Yeah. Okay man din yun, at least nag-recommend, but we don't do that. We actually base the students based on students' uh, situation. That's why we tinan mo na yung situation ng estudyante, kung saan, at anong kaya. Then we match it doon sa kaya din sa estudyante, sino magsusuporta, kung saan yung mga relatives, uh, dito sa Canada, and so on. So there's a lot of factors that you need to consider in, in doing that. And, and, and we found that to be very effective uh, because it's always good to go back to where the students are at rather than uh, you know making assumptions and trying to tell students oh you should go to this school or you should go yeah. to that school and i know several sad stories already in estudiante kala nila dahil ni recommender yung school na yon ay pagkatapos nilang mag-aral ay makapagtrabaho sila and sad to say yung iba hindi nakapagtrabaho dahil yung eskwela na napuntahan nila una sa lahat yung nasabi ko ay hindi DLI, hindi Designated Learning Institution, at saka therefore wal hindi makapagbigay ngayon ng tinatawag na PGWP or Post-Graduation Work Permit. Oo, oh, yeah. mahalaga yan yung... Uh... Yeah. Oh, so pag hindi na-inform ang estudyante niyan, kami kasi, dahil nandito din kami sa Canada, we're not a Philippine-based company, we're a Canadian company, although Filipino kami. <laughs> <laughs> Pilipinong tunay, uh, Pilipinong totoo. Uh, at least ang advantage namin dito is we're, we know the system here. Uh, we know the policies of the government and we, we know the situation where to the students are at. So, yun lang ang ano, um, yun ang advantage nakita namin uh, for being here. And I think we will maintain that being here because I think it makes sense to, uh, you know, keep the company in Canada, considering that the students are dito naman pupunta. And I think the students need to be informed what exactly is Canada and what to expect when you're in Canada. Uh, and and I think the best persons that can talk about that are people who are in Canada. <laughs> uh, yeah. And the um, trick dito sa pagpunta bilang isang estudyante is uh, maging working student? Um, hindi, ma- hindi naman matatawag na trick. Um, I'm not sure if the word is a, the word is a trick that, uh, kung tama ba yung word na trick pero ang ibig mo siguro sabihin na uh, pag estudyante ka you can work here in Canada. Is that what you want to say? Yeah, ibig sabihin yeah. na uh, isang tips lamang para medyo siyempre gumastos ka sa Pilipinas. Okay. So, ah, oh, so I see what you mean. I see what yeah. you mean. Yeah, so mga so ito lang din masabi ko tungkol diyan ano na uh, alam ko makapagtrabaho ang estudyante dito which is good uh, but remember you're coming here as an international student and the government expects you that you have the resources. Okay? Do not please do not um, bank on the expectation that Ah, okay lang ako kasi makapagtrabaho naman ako. Diyo na lang kukukuha sa living allowance ko. It doesn't work that way. I just want to be upfront with you on that. No, it doesn't work that way. I am not an immigration consultant, but I know that if you, <laughs> if that's your if that's your statement, if that's your uh, you know narrative that oh, it's okay, um, you know, I'm just going to work in Canada to support myself. Uh, you're already bound to for uh for a decline, um, you know, response from uh, Immigration Canada because you're supposed to have money when you come to Canada. Kaya nga noon na sana talaga tayo magsabi, oh, mayroon ka bang show money? Yeah. Eh, hindi naman talaga yun show money kasi hindi naman mo sinoshow yung money na yun. Eh. Yeah. 
Required money yon. Oo. Oh. So, kailangan mo talaga ng pera pagpunta dito. Pero babag-aaral na walang pera, hindi pwede yon. Oo. Oh, pag-usapan natin yung pera, Prof. Uh, <laughs> Naku, mukhang mabahaba ang gabi natin ngayon, ha? Uh, <laughs> yung, kasi, ah... Uh, yung sinasabi mo, yung nabinabanggit na show money, uh, yung tuition fee, uh, paano ang siste nun? Uh, paano nila i-deposit from Philippines to bank here? Paano po yung... Uh, hindi po. Well, di kami, well, first of all, Globe does not accept tuition fee from students. We do not do that. That's a no, 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 big no. Yeah. Students, you guys need to pay directly the school. The school, okay. Mm-hmm. So, mayroong method of payment ng eskwilahan uh, na i-advise sa inyo kung paano. Igagayad namin kayo kung paano based doon sa letter of offer ng school. Okay. So, the, uh, bayad, yung bayad sa tuition, bayad din sa kon, pa, pati na nga sa application fee ninyo, sa school yun lahat, madidiretso po. Ang babayaran nyo lang sa global yung processing fee ninyo, service, service fee namin. That's it. The rest, doon niya bayaran sa skwilahan. Kung bayaran man doon, magbabayad din kayo sa IRCC for your biometrics and etc. So, dito din ba kayo magbayad sa government? We're only a bridge. Kaya nga tinatawag global bridge. Bridge lang po kami. Bridge over troubled water. <laughs> Ayan, hindi naman. Hindi naman yan So, uh, panghuling... Uh, Message po para sa ating mga kababayan, Prof. Doon sa mga interesadong uh, mag-upgrade uh, dito sa Canada. Parting message po tayo. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, so, ang parting message ko lang sa mga estudyante o sa kung sino may nakikinig ngayon na, you know, if you choose Canada, you made the right choice. Canada offers the best educational system. Uh, one of the best educational system in the world. Canada offers a very reasonable tuition fee for international students. Canada is such a beautiful country. I have not never stopped fa- being fascinated by the beauty of this country. Wherever I go in Canada, it's the second largest country in the world. There's just so much diversity in this country and I have never regretted my li- in my life Uh, why I chose Canada. Canada is such a beautiful place. Um, there's, uh, and it's not a perfect society. It's a society that has its own imperfections. But overall, it's such a, a beautiful place to live in. And, um, you know, um, and I consider Canada now as my home. You know, I'm a Filipino by heart, but I'm also Canadian by heart. Um, Canada is such a beautiful place to be. Uh, it's uh, the people here generally are respectful. Of course, it's not a perfect respectful people, all of them. But you know, there there are limitations to be said. But in general, there's the, you, you'd see politeness amongst uh, the general population. Um, you know, respectful and, you know, and, and honoring the differences of people. Now, tell me, you will say, oh, Ernie, you know what? Um, uh, I, there are cases of racialization and, you know, discrimination in Canada. Well, I get that. And I know there is. But nonetheless, you know what? People here are aware of those things. And it's good to be aware of those things and that being able to do something about it. Now, you know, change don't happen overnight. Change can happen on a gradual basis. But what makes me proud of Canada is that people here are aware of those issues. And there are, uh, you know, groups in our society and people are working towards addressing those those issues. So, yeah, uh, I love Canada. Canada, best place to go. I hope to see you here. So mga kababayan, kung kayo interesado sa na mag-aral sa Canada, just go to do sa website and mayroon silang uh, libre uh, free uh, orientation. webinar and consultation, yes. Yeah. And I I'm just gonna quickly uh, provide you with the link here. Um, 
uh, Joe about uh, where to where to uh, go if you want to. I'm just gonna just copy and paste, uh, paste the link here for you quickly. Uh, ilalagay ko uh, natin sa description yeah. sa mga videos na yan. Yeah, and okay. The Very good, Joe. Yeah. So, all you have to do is to click on that link and then, you know, fill in the information, join our webinar, and we'll be happy to assign you an education advisor who can walk with you uh, in your journey to Canada. Wonderful. And thank you so much, Joe, for this opportunity to talk about Globe. I think we did just talk about Globe. We talk a lot about a lot, a lot of things about education. But, you know, such a, a good show, Joe, and um, highly recommended this to other Kapwa Filipinos. Filipino World Channel, go for it. Thank you, Joe. Maraming, maraming salamat sa inyong Excellent. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye for now. Have a good night and have a good morning. A <laughs> good day. <laughs> Wherever you are. Okay, bye-bye. Ayan, mga kababayan, ang ating panauhin si Professor Ernie Alama, PhD President and CEO, Global Bridge Education Placement Services, Inc. or Globe. So, sa mga interesado uh, mag-aral dito sa Canada, ay uh, puntahan nyo lang po yung link ng uh, Globe. Nandiyan sa mga descriptions ng ating podcast at video Kung kayo'y nanonood, kung nakikinig ngayon ay uh, nandyan po sa description ng uh, ating uh, channel ha? Feel good with Joe kaya So iniimbitahan ko po kayo oh, na makinig at manood sa ating mga channels kung kayo'y uh, mahilig uh, makinig ng podcast at uh, puntahan niya nilang yung uh, Spotify uh, Overcast uh, Apple Podcast Amazon Music pwede niyong uh, pwede kayo makinig dyan o, sa mga kababayan nating nakikinig ngayon habang nagda-drive ay uh, mag-download po kayo ng ating uh, mga programa sa Filipino World Channel and uh, subscribe sa ating mga video channels tulad na lamang ng YouTube puntahan nyo lang po ang aming website filipinoworldchannel.com alright sa mga kababayan natin ito po ang inyong lingkod Joe Arcaya Feel good with Joe R. Kaya. Maraming maraming salamat po. Joe R. Kaya. Joe R. Kaya.